How's it going guys? Dragast here and today we're going to be playing some Oxygen Not Included. Now this is probably one of the most hyped indie games of 2017. I've been following it since I seen it at PAX last year and I am so excited to announce the development build has been released on the Oxygen Not Included form. So we're going to get right into it today and see what this game's all about. Now if you don't know what this game is, it's made by Clay Entertainment, the same people behind Don't Starve, Mark of the Ninja, some of the most innovative and unique indie games games that have been coming out in the last couple of years. Uh, this is their Space Colony simulation game. Now, Space Colony is a little confusing because it's actually underground. So it's a whole unique experience. It's an awesome little indie game from the little that I've played, so I'm excited to get back into it. And uh, yeah, we're just going to have a little playthrough here, see how long we can survive. Now, this is the development build. I should state that. Uh, it is still a work in progress, but honestly... From what I've played, I am really impressed so far. So this is our crew. We can uh, shuffle the crew to get stats that we want. Now, I like going for, you know, a jack-of-all-trades-like character and just letting them do everything. In this game, though, you can give jobs to certain characters. So, for example, if you had a creative job, Bay over here would be an amazing person to do at that. You also have levels in this game, so I don't know too much about this. So we're just going to look for some people who are overall, you know, decent. I want some digging. Definitely want digging early on, and strength should be important. So I think we'll get Shannon for this, a level 5 minor. Uh, level 9 artist might have been really good because I don't really know what artists do, but I got to assume that's good. Level 6 technician. Now, he's got a lot of good stats, so I think we're going to stick with him. And I would actually like another minor. So 9 digging, 1 strength. I think that might be good. You know what? Let's just go through a little bit more just to see what we can find. Because uh, construction would obviously be good as well. All right, scientist, let's go physician, cooking and medicine. That might actually be good because I don't have a cook, but I don't think you cook early on. So we can worry about getting things like that later on. Right now, I just want some jack of all trades. So level one minor, really, I don't want uh, learning strength. You know what? A scientist with strength, that should be uh, a pretty good pick. Now, they also have traits, quick learner, grease monkey. Uh, mole hands, and traits are bottomless stomach, so this guy eats a lot. Yokel, I don't know what that means, and mouth breather. Yeah, that's annoying. I don't even want you now. And we're going to name the colony the Draytards, because why the hell not? Let's embark on our journey, and hopefully we get a good plot in the ground. So here we are. Like I said, this is called Space Colony Exploration, or Simulation, whatever they want to call it, but you're underground the whole time. Your crew has awoken miles underground in the dark depths of space. They have no recognition of how they got there. It might be best to start digging, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's look out here. You can see uh, this is what the map looks like. There's a bunch of resources everywhere. You know, kind of like a 2D Minecraft. I, I know there's a lot of 2D Minecrafts out there, but I, I just always go to Minecraft. So we got some oxygen here. I actually paused the game just so we're not wasting any time. We got some oxygen up here. We're probably going to want to go to a bunch of ore up here, too. So we're actually going to start digging right away. Again, like it said, you should start digging immediately so we're gonna dig all this out uh let's actually get all of this and then i want all of these raw metals because i know we're gonna need the metals to make things and then all this over here like we got uh oxalite is this all please tell me this is oxygen because i don't want any sort of dangerous gases so we got oxygen here we got some water over here what's this some more oxygen well, actually we're in a really good spot here uh from the little that i've seen in this game we got some granite all right so we're gonna have to expand out to see what else we got a vacuum so this is unbreathable up here so we don't want to go into those pockets but yeah honestly that should be good for right now so let's hit play here uh, let's just un unpause it. Again, I'm gonna start learning as we go, so my apologies if I miss a few things. Alright, we're also gonna build a ladder up here since we're going to need one, so we'll build the ladder as we are digging. And these guys will just do whatever they want to do. Now, you can assign jobs, like I said, to each character, but I'm gonna let them do what they do because I kinda got, uh, jack-of-all-trades characters. What else do we got down here? We got a bristle blossom. I'm just kinda... Trying to get my grips of what's going on down here. I might build some beds down here or something. That's something we're going to need really quickly. Colony requires toilets. So uh, let's actually listen to these things and do that. Now, I don't want a toilet around where I'll usually be because they can get contaminated and obviously affect the air around them. So I think we're going to build it down here somewhere once we actually build up here. Now, can these guys get up? Are they just not listening to me? Can you guys go up and dig this, please? 
Maybe because they can't get through this little hole. So what? Yeah, if we dig that out, now they should be able to actually get inside there. So there we go. That was the issue that they had. They didn't have any space to walk through. Perfect. Oh my god, these guys are so damn cute. I'm loving this already, and we haven't even done anything yet. All right, so we got a ladder up here. We got lots of room up here. Let's actually dig downwards as well. And like I said, put in that toilet. So I think we'll just dig right down here. And we'll dig out this as well. We'll dig out this top. And let's make sure we put a ladder down or they will get stuck down there. And we do not want that happening. Okay, so there we go. We got lots of oxygen here. We shouldn't have oxygen issues anytime soon. But we do got to get that toilet. So let's just speed up time while they're doing this. Uh, some of these guys are just kind of hanging around doing nothing. I, they, they do kind of have their mi a mind of their own. It's really cool to watch. And overall, it's just an awesome little colony survival game. So there they go. They are digging that like crazy. I think they're too full to actually grab all this, so it's just going to stay on the ground right now. Actually, you can see it falling down and going on the ground. So if we dig this out, will it just reset it? No, it actually will go on the ground now. Okay, so there we go. We got lots of oxygen in here. Everyone's happy. Let's go and look for the toilet. Is it, is it, yes, it is in plumbing. So there we go. We can do an outhouse for right now. Obviously, you can get a lot more complex later on, but for right now, we're just gonna have to deal with that outhouse. So let's put that there. Next thing we're gonna need is oxygen. So we got an algae deoxidizer here. Converts algae into oxygen. So we're gonna have to find algae, uh, but we also want this thing. Let's actually look. There's uh, different overlays here you, where you can see the oxygen. So there's a little red spot there but overall we're actually totally fine for oxygen right now you just don't want to be standing in these spots for too long uh, but they're obviously not going to do that so yeah as you can see it says barely breathable and that looks about that color uh, there's a bunch of other cool overlays here power grid we'll get into that later temperatures so you can see the hot bodies of the characters and uh, I think there's like lava in this game and if you make machines for example they'll heat up the uh, local area so it's really cool we got light overlays uh, liquid plumbing, some of this stuff we'll get into later on, I'm sure, and that's a little bit too complex for me. So, we gotta get the toilet right now, let's unpause time, and let's, uh, build that, boys. There you go, and now you can go poopy. Uh, next up, I wanna do beds, cause they're gonna be sleeping soon, so while they're doing that, let's look for the beds here. Is it in base? Alright, let's pause time, cause I don't wanna waste any time. Time wasted is food wasted in this game, more or less, so... Uh, stations, furniture, ooh, okay, so we might want to get these research stations and stuff soon, because I don't know what they do, but I gotta assume they'll unlock a bunch of stuff. Medical cot, something we're going to need, but for right now, we just need cots. Reduce the stress by giving duplicates a place to rest, so bunk up over here, guys. We got three right now. Actually, let's see when the next one's coming. So you can see here, next duplicate in 1,221 seconds. By the way, these guys are duplicates. So that's how you get more people. They basically just spawn in as you wait. Now, these are our ration boxes. You can see there's not much rations left. Uh, this is the food they're currently eating. We're going to have to figure out how to make food, though. Uh, microbe musher produces low-quality food for duplicates using common ingredients. Okay, let's actually build that. We're going to need electricity for that, though. So I'm thinking I'm going to build an electricity thing over here. So we'll put this right by the beds. They can eat in their bed. And now... Now we're actually going to have to get into power as well. So we have manual generators for right now. Uh, it's basically like a hamster wheel. They're going to have to go on that. And you know what? Let's do a tiny battery as well, uh, which will store runoff power from said generator. So there we go. Now we need to connect these all together. So let's just put a line up here, and then we can connect all our electrical... Electrical stuff, wow, I can't even talk, onto this grid up here. So there we go, perfect. And let's actually, what are they doing down here? Okay, they made their outhouse, so let's prioritize this. And I can show you how this works. So you have numbers one through nine, and you, once you get a little, once you get a little bit more complex, uh, you can choose what you want to prioritize. So for example, these can be fives, and I put a six down. They're going to do the six first, but I'm going to change all of these to six for right now. And then they're all going to come up here and do these. Now, mind you, they're not really doing anything else. I guess they're doing something with the storage box right now, but that's it. But uh, that's a good way to get them to do what you want. All right, so here they come right away, building their beds and everything. That way they can sleep. There's lots of oxygen uh, going through the, the air up here. So I don't even know why I built this oxygen generator, to be honest. You generally want to build those at places where there's not much oxygen. But I guess it's good to have just in case we do run into issues with air contamination over here. 
All right, so there we go. We got the girl running on the thing, and she's probably going to stay there. Why are these insufficient resources? Oh, we need copper. Well, guys, okay, let's change uh, the, priori the priority of... Uh, well, these are sixes as well. I guess if we change these to nine, they'll at least dig out the copper first that we need to do this. So there you guys go. Please... Oh, they can't reach it. That's why. Okay, I was wondering why they weren't digging. All right, let's pause then and actually look for some more copper. So we're just going to pause it. Uh, we got some copper down here. So, yeah, let's just get them to dig out this stuff. There we go. We got that one, that one, that one. We don't need the perfect ground here. I think you can fill in the ground, too, so no big deal. What's this over here? I'm curious. Contaminated water. So, yeah, we got a lot of contamination around. And actually, you can see a little bit more of the map now, so you can get an idea of what's going on. We got contaminated oxygen over here. I saw when I was just playing for fun, there was, like, aliens down here. So, we're going to see some enemies as well, which will be fun. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm just looking for copper ore. So, there we go. There's another one right there. There's another one right there. That should give us enough to at least finalize this. And we're gonna prioritize these as nines. I think everyone... Alright, this guy's mining right now. Uh, most of the guys... Yeah, this guy's eating right now. I saw that they were doing that. And unfortunately, now we got someone always on the generator. So that's another person that we're not gonna be able to use. But she just got a skill increase, as you saw. So uh, they do level up as you play, which is really cool. Alright, so hopefully by the time they're done all this, they should have enough copper to finish this thing. And this says no fabrications queued, so let's, uh, queue fabrications. This is something I've never done. So we can do mush bars or lice loaf. Is that, like, literally meal lice compacted into a dense immobile loaf? That is gross. An edible putrefied mud slop, preferable to starvation, but only <laughs> just barely. All right, so we'll do some of those, I guess, and we'll fabricate some lice loaves as well because that's freaking gross. So that will queue those up and start cooking those for them to eat. As you can see, though, it's nighttime, so it's time for them to sleep. And look how cute they are. They sleep like cats. What the hell? All right, but so far, so good. Honestly, my first playthrough, I had so many issues with oxygen, but as you can see... We're doing great for oxygen right now. I do gotta worry about these machines though. They will heat up the area, so we might need to... I think you can make fans. Uh, also, we're gonna wanna make these stations soon. Can be worked by duplicates to conduct intermediary tech research and unlock new technologies. And then the research station can be used to to conduct novice research and unlock new technologies. All right, let's get the research station for right now. That does need a plug-in, so... Maybe we can fill this whole thing in. I don't like the fact that this goes down. All right, but they're up. It's time to start the day. Uh, hopefully, no power. Oh, because nobody's on the wheel. That's the problem with this setup right now. We need somebody on the wheel. Can we actually assign someone on the wheel? Uh, current threshold, 50%. Oh, the, the, well, they're batteries. I'm confused because, oh, the battery's actually still being made. Uh, I was gonna say the battery's, like, ready to go, but clearly not. Alright, but it should be done right now once this thing is connected, and now what is insufficient resources? Dirt and water needed. Okay, how do I bring water over then? Ah, there we go. Tip fetching water. That, 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 that's good. I appreciate that game. You knew what I wanted and you gave me a tip. Duplicants will seek and collect water and other liquids up to two tiles away and deliver to buildings. Up to two tiles away. That's not very far. Now, okay, so I'm assuming the duplicate has to be two tiles away. So we got some water over here. We also got some water down here. This will be easier to access. We can just dig down and build a ladder down. So let's do that. I'm going to dig straight down here. Uh, there we go. And two tiles away. So we should just need, well, let's just do a ladder all the way to, oh, I don't want to, how do I actually delete? I haven't figured that out yet. Ah, uh, deconstruct. Let's try that. There we go. Oh, and you can actually choose what you want to deconstruct. You can do all wires, last gas pipes, buildings. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to deconstruct that. And let's fix that and put the ladder here. There we go. And they should get to working on that anytime now. So hopefully we should be able to bring water over. Now dirt. We should have lots of dirt, shouldn't we? Okay, they did put water in. Now they just need dirt. But they all need to go poop at the same time. Like, what the hell? Do I, do, do I need more than one outhouse? All right, Mystique's being Mystique-ful in uh, the outhouse here. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. The animations in this game, perfect. That, that's the face that I do after a good dookie, too. Uh, all right, so... What, what did you just... Okay, the, the washroom's free now, so he left. He walked all the way up here, started working, and then left immediately. All right, let's, let's start using our prioritization 
uh, to our advantage here and make sure these people do this as soon as possible. Hideki, we don't need that right now. You need to go to the washroom too. You you literally just won on that wheel. Oh my god, that's annoying. But I love how she went on this instead of, you know, digging it out because we need water anyways. This is totally pointless until we get water because I thought we built the, the oxygenator, but we actually just built the food machine, which is good because we're definitely going to need that. What the hell happened to Mystique? She just like flipped... Or, I, I don't know if Mystique's a guy or a girl, but they just flipped on it, and then they just, like, gave up. Why are you guys not digging? Please dig! What the fuck? God, do they have to do something else now? Hideki, you're back. Okay, you pooped. Are you good? Are you just gonna go back on here? You are, aren't you? Oh, nope. Okay, they're actually gonna go dig. Sweet. All right, there we go. They seem to have finally listened. They're working together. Mystique's even coming over. Look at that. Thank you, guys. Okay, you did one. You gotta do a lot more than that. Are we... Do we have issues here? No, we don't. Well, Mystique doesn't. What the fuck is going on? This is the most difficult. Uh, actually, let's try. Can we harvest these, maybe? Ooh, you can. All right, we can get some sort of food here. Uh, any sort of plants you can harvest. So let's uh, start doing that, I guess. Also, we're going to want some storage. So let's uh, build a storage compactor here, and we'll put this right by our machine. It looks like a little robot. That's cute. Uh, okay, we can also build, like, doors and close his rooms without blocking the flow of gas or liquid, so that will be good later on. Uh, oh, we got muckroot here. Unfrigerated fresh. So these are things they can eat, so I'm really dealing with food right now. I probably don't need to deal with this much food because I only got three guys, uh, but we gotta be getting a new guy soon. 739 seconds! Holy shit, that's taking forever. All right, the storage compactor's done, so I think, yeah, you can actually choose what you want them to store in here. So if you wanted to be all organized, you can put raw metals in here, or you can put whatever you want, organics in here. I'm just gonna say, put whatever the hell you guys want in there, just store it there, please. I probably should have put it closer to up here, because this is where they're usually gonna be, but that's okay. Uh, our rations box still has rations in it, so food is really fine right now. We're just preparing ahead of time. Oh my god, look at that! That's how they suck up the water, so Shannon's got... A big chunk of water now, and I'm assuming he's gonna go over to the machine and fill this sucker up so we can start cooking food. Delicious, gross, lice food. I mean, what the hell? There we go. This is so cool, though. Like, I'm amazed with how complex this game is, how easy it is to understand, too. All right, and Shannon's actually storing the food in the rations box so they can eat it later on. So we got storage, we got food, we got oxygen. So far, we're actually doing remarkably well. You can see there's a few red spots here, but nothing to be really worried about. So really, all I need to do right now is focus on expanding. But I think we're gonna wait for the next episode for that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, this is Oxygen Not Included. If you guys are enjoying this, please let me know in the comments below. You know, hit that like button, show your support so we can do some more of this. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.